Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Delenia Marketing. Today we are going to design a professional logo based on retro concept. It could be a vintage style or uh, you can use this sort of logo design uh, in your business, in your uh, as a new company or whatever you want to do. So let's start now. Uh, well, first of all, we are going to create a simple background here like this here i'm just taking the rectangular tool and creating this background layer i want to create the black color and uh, what i'm going to do i'm locking this layer by pressing ctrl 2 from my keyboard and now we are going ready to start our design uh, first of all we are taking this ellipse tool and we are simply creating a uh, simple circle make sure you have turned your color to white so everything will be visible or i want to use this color so i'm uh, i want to different color as well this is the c25 m25 or 40 and k is equal to zero this is default color uh, in cs6 and the other version as well so i'm taking this color from here and now we are going to create some offset to this go into the part and here you can create offset i want to create offset of 25 pixels so it will be looking like this now we are going to select both layers so you can see this is the first one and this one is the second and now we are going into the pathfinder so from window you can find the pathfinder like this and here i have to subtract this background here so you can see that it would be looking like uh, this design and now i want to scale it down like this here i want to create a simple uh, font i'm writing gelato here these sort of logo design are well suited for shops or whatever you want to do small businesses as well because it's a badge style logo so it will be quite suitable if you will use in that area so i want to change the color to like like this and here i want to change the font as well here i want i'm, I'm using amarillo and if you don't have this font then you can take it uh, uh, from the font.com um, you can also find it from my blog post here because I will upload the file here and you can find the uh, uh, font from that file okay so this is I'm just writing gelato here like this and make sure everything is properly aligned and so what I'm going to do, I'm just putting it like this. Um, before doing anything is to, just to make sure that everything is working properly, I'm changing the color here for the time being, and uh, later I will change it because it will be because due to same color, the uh, layers are quite invisible, so it will be quite understood now that how the things are going when I change the color of the text. So what I'm going to do now, I'm taking this one and uh, I want to use this pen tool and here I'm drawing some lines like this. Just a simple circular line I'm creating and I want to off this fill color here. And in the same way, what I'm going to do, I'm creating another line here. like this and now we are going to we are keeping it aside and we are going to select both these um, layers and now we are going to divide it here and unloop it now we can remove this here and Rest, uh, we want to delete this one from here. You can see. So, to delete 
this and everything is deleted now so I can make sure all the things are getting deleted and now the things everything is deleted okay so we want to keep only these two lines here and I want to keep it in the middle here like this and now I want to change the color here and just writing odd perch and uh, changing the font to increase the size changing the color as well like this and now changing the font here this black uh, sword this is also the font that you can easily download it's a free font that you can easily download from the font.com and now I want to keep it here now the next thing that I want to do I want to select this these layers I want to convert this layer into outlines like this and here I want to select this one and this one press ctrl G and now I'm going into the effects section here I want to choose the artistic and uh, here I want to use rough pastels and here it will show you how the things are going here so I want to go with these settings now the stroke length is currently 12 the stroke details is 8 and the, I'm using the texture that is canvas you can also check the other ones but I want to go with the canvas and the scaling is 97% relief is 26% and light is around top to right so I want to use this one and I will apply it so you can see how the things are going it will be it will show you quite embossed or you know some sort of it will uh, look at closely then you will it will be show like a knitted uh, or you know effect so this this look cool to me so I that's why I use this sort of uh, texture to the text and now what we are going to do I'm just taking a simple line here and like this and now I want to only want to change the full color here and using this tool and here I'm looking at writing since 1980 the font color the matching one that is here and I want to use the merit pro And now you can increase the font size as well that is around 24 and so one you can also change the font color font size to 36 as well 36 is so much so I want to keep it 30 like this keep it here and now in the same way I want to create another layer here just like this by using the pan tool you can define the line and here I want to remove the full color and here again writing in a part that is premium quality I want to change the font color to the same one and here I want to keep it around 24 pixels so you can check out and now you can change it to around 22 so it will be visible like this keep it here and make sure everything is properly aligned same angle and you can see your logo design is ready so you can see each here is visible uh, i will show you in a 
high resolution format so you can see how it will look like everything is looking cool too uh, with this logo it's a badge style logo design so you can easily create it by using the sand te uh, technique so thank you so much for watching i will come back to another tutorial have a very good day and subscribe to my channel bye bye